Hi YouTube family, welcome to the channel. I am Peace, I'd like to welcome you. If you're new, welcome. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. This is a place where we talk about the rules, the laws, and the principles of God and how we can apply those principles to our lives so that we and our children can reap the benefits of being children of God. I invite you to join us by subscribing, liking, sharing, and hitting that notification bell. All right, let's get started today. Okay, family, so today I wanna to talk a little bit about uh, prayer and how to pray and how to get our prayers answered. Um, I was thinking about this and I went back to the Bible where the disciples asked Jesus Christ, they said, Master, teach us how to pray. And I was thinking about that. And when they, when they said that, Jesus told them, when you pray, say, you know, and, and he taught them how to say the Lord's Prayer. The revelation from that is that there has to be a way that you should be praying. Otherwise, Jesus would have just told his disciples, no, you get there and just say, you know, blab on about whatever, cry, do this, do whatever you want to do. But no, he taught them how to pray. That lets me know that there has to be a way to pray. All of us know that when we pray, we're talking to God. We're making our requests known to God. We are bringing thanksgiving. We are um, bringing praise and adoration and all of that. But I, I do feel as though sometimes we, we are not aware of how we should approach the throne of God to get our prayers answered. Like if you are going to see um, somebody who's important, like a head of state um, and that kind of thing, you when you go there, you prepare your speech. Like you prepare how you're going to go in there and, and speak with that head of state, that important person. You just don't walk in there and start blabbing about all kinds of things. And furthermore, even your posture and the way you pose, we, we practice, right? We practice, we, we want to make sure that we're saying the right things. We want to make sure that we're making the right references. When it comes to coming to the presence of God, as in prayer, I feel like we just show up. We're not prepared. So I wanna take us to the Bible so we can look at um, some verses that will help us um, with this issue of prayer and how to pray. And one of the things that I want us to understand is generally when we pray, God sends out his angels who work on his behalf. We cannot command angels, but they are there to work on our behalf, but through the command of God. We cannot make them do things, but they, they, they hear God's word and it is God's word that they, they obey. And that's like a command to them. To show us that God sends his angels to work on our behalf, we see that in, in Daniel chapter 10 and verse 12, where it says, Then he said to me, Do not fear. That's the angel that came to, to Daniel. He said, Then he said to me, Do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come because of your words. When we pray, God answers by sending his angels to work on our behalf. And for Daniel, this was a passage where if you read the whole thing, you discover Daniel went on a 21-day fast. And the angel of the Lord came to him and said, From the first day, God sent me. Yeah, your prayers were heard, and God sent me to come and do uh, what you were petitioning God for. Uh, the purpose of that passage is not why we're here today, but I just wanted us to look at the fact that when we pray, like angels are sent to do God's will and to help us. But it depends how we're praying. There's a way that we have to pray. And today I want us to talk about praying the scriptures. And the correct way to pray is to pray the scriptures, to use the scriptures. Remember when I said the angels, we cannot, we as human beings cannot command angels, but we can do so through the word of God. Because when angels hear the word of God, that is the command. When they hear us speak the word of God, that's a command to them. 
to then go and do what we're petitioning God for. So why is it important for us to pray the word of God? Let's look at Psalm 103, verse 20. It says, Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Another version says hearkening to his word. And hearkening is, is the same as heeding or, or hearing or obeying. Um, so this is why it's so important for us when we are praying to use the word of God. Because when you do that, the angels who are supposed to work on our behalf, they hear the word of God and they hear it as a command from God to go and do that for us. Let's say you're praying for protection and you say, I come in agreement with Psalm 34 verse 7 which says the angel of the Lord encamp round about those who fear him and he delivers them. You know, that goes out and the angels hear that and they get to work and, and providing protection. Whereas if you're just blabbing along or, or you're just going before God and like, you know, crying hysterically and you're not using his word, you're not doing yourself any favors and you're not, you're not praying a prayer that's effective. To pray an effective prayer, you have to use the word of God. Remember, God even says we should remind him of his word. It's not that he has forgotten his word, but he's telling us to remind him of his word because if we repeat his word, the angels that he has assigned to us that are on standby will then hear that word and that is a cue and a command for them to start working for us. And the Lord said his word does not go out and come back to him empty, but it must accomplish what it was sent out to do. And that's why it's so important that when you're praying, you have to pray the scriptures. So whatever it is that you are praying and seeking God for, one of the things that I do is I find out what scriptures pertain to what I'm asking God for. Am I praying for a house? Am I praying for my child? And am, am I praying for, you know, financial breakthrough? Whatever it is, you just go and find the scriptures that pertain to that and, and start praying those scriptures. Start praying those scriptures. Let's say you're going on a job interview and you need favor. Go and find scriptures that has to do with favor, uh, such as Psalm 80, 81. Um, I can't recall it um, completely right now, but it says, uh, The Lord will bless the righteous, and with favor, he encompasses them as with a shield. That sort of scripture, if you're looking for favor, it's a great one. And there are many, many more. And sometimes, if you're not very vast in scripture, you're just, you know, starting off and you don't have a lot of scripture in your repertoire, you can just go and Google. Uh, stuff you can just google scriptures pertaining to praying for financial breakthrough and just pray those scriptures repeat them repeat them repeat them and as you're repeating them it may not seem like anything is happening but something is happening in the spirit world things are shifting things are being rearranged and moved around for you just like when daniel was praying from the first day he was heard and the angel was sent to him. Although, if you read that, the angel was delayed by the principality over um, Persia. So he was delayed. But that did not mean things were not happening. Things were, of course, happening in the spirit world. So always remember to pray the scriptures. I personally found a book that I use and this is not an advertisement at all. It's just a resource that I use that's very helpful to me that I want to share with anybody who might come across this video. This is the book that I use. It's called the Bible Promise Book. And this book, it's really, it's really nice. So under the content, you won't be able to see that because of the light, but it has um, subjects that you may be praying for. Like there's courage, uh, there's comfort, there's children, praying for your children. And then um, under those headings, they have like scriptures that are listed that you can use. So you don't have to go running around to even look for the scriptures in the Bible, but you can just use this book if you have it. I got this copy on Amazon and I'm pretty sure it's still there. So um, you can go grab it. Uh, I don't get anything from it. It's just something that I love and I'm... 
I want to share with somebody. And that book will help you and it'll just provide you with all the scriptures that you need. And here's another reason why it's so important to pray the scriptures. Let's look at Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. And it says, But without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. The part that I'm really interested in, and I want to point out to you guys, is the part that says, But without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith ultimately is the word of God. And without faith, you can please God. Praying the word of God is pleasing God. So you must, you must come with your faith. Faith is the currency of heaven. That is what you present. When you go to buy something, you bring your money. And because you have that money, you are given attention. And the services are offered to you. It's the same thing with heaven. When you approach heaven and you're just hysterical and crying, oh, oh God, help me. Oh, God, help me. What are we helping you with? Yeah, God knows what you need help with. But why, what is he saying? Without faith, it is impossible to please him. You must come with your faith. You must come with your currency. Yeah, Lord. I need help with my child. My child is acting out and I need help. Yeah? What, what are you coming with? You can't just come here and be crying hysterically without... I'm not saying it's not okay to go before God crying. I'm just saying even if you're crying, be organized. Be organized with your cry. That's all I'm saying because God is, is telling us without that currency of heaven... You're not pleasing me. And how am I going to reward you if you're not diligent? Part of being diligent is, is, is being prepared, is doing all that you ought to do to present your case. Remember when I said when, you, when you're going to see someone who is a head of state or someone important, you prepare. That means you're diligent in making sure that when you go, you'll be successful with whatever you're presenting in front of them. It's the same thing with heaven. You bring your faith, which is the word of God, which is the currency of heaven, so that you can please him. So that your prayer, when you're praying about your child, you're not just blabbing. You see, you're holding God to his word and saying, Lord, you say in, in Proverbs 21, verse 11, the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. I'm here holding you to that word coming in agreement with your word my child is acting up but i need them to be delivered you know instead of coming in hysterics all right <laughs> to make your prayer effective you must use the word of god you are putting the angels to work when you use the word of god you are mobilizing them there are many reasons why our prayers would not be answered most important one being unforgiveness but also it's not praying the word of god when you speak the word of god things start to shift in the spirit and things start to align the destiny helpers they start aligning and coming towards you and sometimes it might take a while but just know that your prayer is not wasted. It's not like your prayer is not answered. Remember the story of Daniel always. His prayer was heard and help was discharged from day one, but it took 21 days, 21 days for Angel Gabriel to get to him. So when you're praying, don't think that nothing is happening. No, as long as you're praying right, it may take some time, but in the spirit realm, things are moving, always. Furthermore, when you're praying the scriptures, you are praying the will of God. And as long as you stay in the will of God, everything that God has promised you will eventually, at the appropriate time. God works with appropriate times. So even if he answers and it may not be the time, you may have to wait. But be patient. Keep speaking the word of God. And at the appointed time, at the appropriate time, you will see that manifest. 
All right, family, that's all I have for you guys today. Please don't forget to support by subscribing, liking, sharing the videos, and hitting the notification bell. I will see you guys soon. Bye.